Now that is a bit of a concern. So if you guys remember, there's a um, this car had really, really little oil, only at the bottom of the oil tank. So there's either a really catastrophic oil leak somewhere, or the oil pan not there. Um, either the washer is is gone or something, and it's leaking right from there. All right. So here's the engine bay. As you can see, this car sat in a field for quite a while, and some animal has definitely came and made a home out of here, which is why it's got all these uh, rubbish around. So I'm gonna have to clean it out, and hopefully they haven't chewed off anything too serious. So today we'll be cleaning up the engine bay a little bit, and attempting, going to, to try and find where all these oil leak are from. Compressed air is like the best best way to do this because uh, as soon as you introduce uh, like a pressure washer, it's just going to dunk up all the all the grass and make them impossible to, to come loose. Best to do it with air when everything's dry. Definitely don't want any of this near the uh, exhaust. All right, just gone through the inside and everything, trying to blow all the grass and all that stuff out. Everything is pretty clean now. And if you have a look at the floor, that, that all came out of the uh, engine bay. So now, time for degrease. Don't know how long it's been since this engine has been has had any sort of clean but I'm definitely targeting a lot of those areas where there's a lot of oil and grease a bit of dirt and grime spray a bit on the side My main goal right now is after this, I'm able to locate where the oil leak is and obviously also be working on an engine that is uh, pretty clean. All right. Now I'm just gonna let it soak for a bit and then I'll be back to pressure wash it in about 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's get started with the kacha. So when you're doing this, just make sure you remember avoid squirting directly into the uh, alternator, which is at the back under there. And also uh, definitely avoid like squirting right into any of these connectors directly. So it's been exactly one week since we washed the engine bay. And have a look at this oil just coming down right here. And this is why we need to degrease the whole area in order to track down oil leak and pretty much straight away hopefully you can see it on camera as well quite a bit of oil is coming between the head and the uh, VTEC solenoid there all the way down towards the gearbox as well as uh, the front of the engine there you can see it's all pulled up right there and if we look from underneath you can also see originally I thought maybe the um, oil pan gasket is gone but it looks like it's all from up top. So I had the car running for about five minutes and the only oil that I can see is just from there. So 
let's uh, have a slightly deeper look at what's going on there. see a big pool of oil right there. This thing is stuck on really good, not sure if you can tell, but there's actually a, uh, a layer of silicon all the way around it seems. Someone was really keen to stop this oil leak. So from a quick look, the gasket seems to be fine. In fact, yeah, up here it's actually dry, so the all that oil it's just spewing out from the uh, VTEC solenoid. Yeah, it looks like the engine is, uh, has been looked after all right. All right, so let's just put the cover back on and double check the VTEC solenoid. Yeah, this um, VTEC solenoid gasket is completely crushed and I'm pretty sure, looking down here, pretty confident this is where all the oil leak is from. Even if you just have a look at all these area, like just there, right there, like these pockets, these pockets outside that are supposed to be protected from the gasket, it's got, um, it's got oil all over it. So yeah, lucky me. As you can see, it was only three bolts to take this out. And I'm, all I need to do now is get a new gasket. Then happy days. The oil leak mystery is not so much a, a mystery at all. So all I'm gonna have to do now is buy a VTEC solenoid gasket and then slip it in and we should be good from there. Not nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go in and order the part now. Thank you guys for watching, but Cracking down an oil leak isn't that uh, that difficult at all. And with these Hondas, most common are the rocker cover gasket, the VTEC solenoid, if there is one, the distributor O-ring, the oil pan gasket, and if you are really unlucky, then either the uh, rear main seal or the front main seal. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.